memory mapping. This lecture we will talk about memory mapping. Memory mapping is a, a very important process in microprocessor and computer architecture. Memory mapping is a process by which we allocate certain memory space to memory devices. Memory devices may be RAM devices, ROM devices. Those particular memory devices are allocated certain space. If there is a RAM of 4 kilobyte, so the 4 kilobyte space will be allocated to that RAM memory in the entire memory space of microprocessor, computer or CPU. That is what is the memory mapping. And we know that basically in any uh, computer architecture, the memory map, if we talk about for example a basic microprocessor unit 8085, we know that its memory starts, begins from 0, 0, 0, 0, H to F, 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 H. And we also know that the total memory space from here to here is 64 kilobyte. How do we calculate the memory space? 64 kilobyte, there are 16 address lines in 8085 microprocessor. So 2 to the power 16 registers will be there. We know that memory consists of a small memory element called as register. Again register consists of single bit storage devices, flip flops. So 2 to the power 16 registers will be there and each register will have its memory address, memory location. So how many memory addresses will be there? 2 to the power 16. And this 2 to the power 16 can be written as 2 to the power 6 into 2 to the power 10. And 2 to the power 6 is 64 and 2 to the power 10 is uh, kilo. So therefore 64 kilo memory addresses will be there. And when we are talking about 8085 microprocessor, we know that 8085 microprocessor is 1 byte microprocessor. The data bus size is 8 bit. So each register can hold 1 byte of data, 8 bits of data. And therefore what we say, the total memory capacity of 8085 is 64 kilobyte. This is one example we are taking in order to understand the concept of memory mapping. Otherwise the same concept applies in the similar manner, equal manner in all the microprocessors of the computer architecture. So what do we understand by memory mapping? Suppose there is a RAM. We know that we are not discussing computer architecture here. We know that in the beginning memory locations there are some boot, booting programs, there are some monitor programs, those programs are stored, then there is some user space, there RAM and ROM memory, memory devices are inserted in the entire memory space of microprocessor. What we are interested here is, suppose there is a RAM, there is a RAM device and size is for example 4 kilobyte. There is a RAM, its size is 4 kilobyte. 4 kilobyte means what? 4 kilobyte can be written as 4096 cross 8. 4096 cross 8. Whenever we represent our memory like this, this 4096 here represents number of registers. I have already told you that each register represents one memory address. So how many memory addresses will be there in this RAM? 2 to the power 12. It means that how many address lines? The number of address lines will be 12. Number of address lines will be 12. And what about this? This is the size of each register. Each register size is 8 bit, that is 1 byte. Now let us understand how do we allocate this 4 kilobyte of memory space in the entire memory space 0000 H2 FF FFH of 808 microprocessor and there is a process. So in order to work with any memory there are two to three important steps. What is number one? The number one step is selecting memory. Selecting memory. Selecting memory means selecting chip. Chip select. What is number two? Identification of identification of identification of registers identification of 
resistors. And what is third one? The third one step is either read or write, depending on the type of memory. If the memory is RAM, there will be read. Random access means reading and writing. Uh, writing both operation will take place. So there are three important steps. Important uh, 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 the, uh, cross steps are there in uh, while working with any memory, any memory device. Number one is selecting a chip. Number two is identification of register. And if we understand these three steps while working with any memory, we will be able to allocate this much memory space in the entire memory space, 64 kilobyte of microprocessor or the computer. Now, how do we do this? Let us try to understand. How do we do this? How do we allocate the memory space? As we have seen that the memory space of memory capacity of this RAM is 4 kilobyte. How many resistors? We have noted 4096. So how many address lines? How many address lines? 2 to the power 12 address lines. And we understand that in the initial memory address, all lines will be 0. And the final memory address, all lines will have its values as 1. So if you write the total, uh, that is complete number of address lines of microprocessor, we can write like this. A15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. There are 16 address lines. Now, whenever we are working with this RAM 4 kilobyte, how to identify the register? Based on 12 address lines. In the beginning address, all lines will be 0. 0 means A0 to A11. A0 to A11. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 0, 0. There are 12 lines which are having their 0 values in the, the first memory address, beginning memory address. What about the last memory address, last memory location, they all will become 1. So we can write their values 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. This is just partition. This is not 1. Now, what about A12, A13, A14 and A15? These are, these are not mentioned. These are not uh, specified in this memory. So what do we do? We, we use these lines. A12, A13, A14, A15 for selecting the chip, selecting the memory device. And if we, uh, if we, if we draw the memory device, what, how will be the memory device? I mean, how will, how will we draw this? There is a RAM. RAM means this is a RAM. What is size? 4 kilobyte. So there will be two control signal. One will be one will be read bar. And second will be right bar. Why? Because it is random access memory. It is not a read only memory. So there will be two control signals in the memory for writing in, for enabling writing in the reading operation. What about the data bus? This, there will be data lines and the data lines will be directly connected to the data lines of microprocessor. What is left in this memory uh, device? Number one is identification of register. That arrangement has to be connected. Arrangement has to be made there. And what is more important is selection of chip. Until the chip is enabled, until the device is selected, how can we work with this memory? And therefore, these 12, 13, 14, and 15, four lines can be used in order to select the chip. Now, this process is called as decoding. This particular process is called as decoding. Decoding by which we select the chip. And this decoding is of two types, absolute decoding and partial decoding. Absolute decoding and partial decoding. When we use all the remaining lines after identification of register, here we can see that how many lines are used in the identification of register? 12 address lines, beginning 0 to 11. That is 12 address lines out of 16 address lines are used to identify the register. 
what are the remaining what is the number of remaining lines four address lines are left with us so all the four address lines can be used in selection of g we call that decoding as absolute decoding and when we use some of those address lines for example we use only a15 what we say that there is a partial decoding so there are two schemes and we can differentiate absolute decoding and partial decoding in subsequent in next lecture that what are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, both of the decoding methods for selecting the for enabling the chip so there will be a chip select line there will be a chip select line this is our right bar right bar there will be a chip select line chip select line cs bar or we write c bar also chip select line or chip enable line this line will be enabled by using this four address lines which are left with us which are left with us now how do we do this i am just removing these lines in order to draw the complete memory mapping diagram as we have seen that how many address lines are only are used in order to identify the number of uh, registers a 0 to a 11 from where these are coming these are definitely coming from address bus of mp address lines will be coming from will be generated from address bus of mpu how many address lines are required in order to identify the registers here number of registers 12 address lines now what about this chip enable line chip select line we have to enable this so what we need is we need some active low signal what we can do we can do any arrangement we can make like this we can use all these lines a15 a14 a13 and a12 then what we can write uh, what what will be the pos possible values probable values of these lines so that zero will be generated and finally the chip is enabled all will be all are required to be work if i am using nand gate and it depends that which logic you are using here how many lines or uh, out of remaining lines you are using depending on this this decoding logic changes and accordingly map will change the memory map means memory range the range of memory addresses which will occupy in the entire memory space of microprocessor will change for this example we are using a nand gate and how many lines all the lines we are using the scheme i am using is absolute scheme this is absolute decoding the scheme here which i am using is absolute decoding here and we have seen that how, how to generate the memory locations we have seen that in the beginning memory uh, uh, the 12 lines means 0000h you can understand i am directly writing this as a11 to a0 we can understand what about the remaining lines the remaining lines are a12 a13 a14 and a15 and when you are in first register or any number of register when you are working with first memory address second memory address third memory address or whatever memory address whichever register you are working with either you are writing into the register or reading from the register that chip always must be enabled and in order to make the chip enabled for always you are working with any of the registers this content will not vary and for this particular example all the values are one so one 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 this is actually what we can write is f what we can write is f so finally the memory locations can be written as f 0 0 0 h 2 we can see that f f f f h what are what what is the total range of memory address for microprocessor 8085 00 00 h 2 f f f f h what is the memory address memory range memory map occupied by this 4 kilobyte of memory that is f 0 h 2 f f f f h this process is called as memory mapping memory mapping is a process you can understand now you can see that 
uh, a particular memory space for that memory capacity is allocated in the entire memory space of microprocessor or computer architecture. We call this as a memory mapping. Memory mapping. And what are the three important things in memory mapping? Number one, identification of registers. What is number two? Selection of chip. And selection of chip is made by is done by remaining address lines. What do we mean by remaining address lines? Remaining address lines means that the lines which are left after identification of registers. How do we decide how many lines will be used for identification of register? This depends on the size of memory. If it, it is 4 kilobyte, means 4 kilo memory addresses will be there. And in order to distinguish and differentiate all these, I mean identify these num these many registers, you need to have to do the bar 12, means 12 address lines. So these initial 12 address, line, address lines will be used for identification of registers and what about 4 remaining lines? Those lines will be used for selection of chip, that is chip enabling. And this is all about memory mapping. And if this decoding logic changes, this map, you can understand, if I change the values of this thing, I could use one NAND gate, I could use one NOT gate also and using A15 or any one of the line. I, I can simply substitute the value 1 and that also uh, would, would work. So depending on the digital logic, the, the, the decoding logic, the memory map will change. This is about the memory mapping, which is very important uh, process in allocating the memory space to memory devices in computer architecture and microprocessor. Thank you.